So in this part of the video, we're going to use AccuFace to make an animation. I've got a scene set up. Uh, I've got him in front of a tiny little piano. Um, I've just got a looped animation of him playing piano. And what we're going to really concentrate is on is how to get the um, the facial capture. So as I said, we're going to be using AccuFace. Um, what's really cool about that is you can work with pre-recorded video, which means you can work remotely with people or Instead of just getting an audio track, you can get their full facial capture and then get somebody to act it out really well. Okay, so now we're going to open up AccuFace. Uh, this is all the setting for working with the camera, which we're not going to be doing. You can select the camera, uh, work live, or you can work with a video track. So I'm just going to load in a video track that we've already pre-recorded. So I've got a terrible video of me miming to the Peaches song by Jack Black. The thing with facial tracking is it does come down to acting. So... I'm probably not doing a very well. I'm definitely not doing a very good job. So, like the lip sync's probably not that precise. Obviously, if I sang the song myself, you can get much more precise and timed. One of the things to bear in mind when recording the video is you want to try and keep even lighting. So, don't have like lights coming from one angle or sh too much shadows. This might possibly be a little bit too bright, but generally, if you can get an even lighting, the better the lighting for the video, um, the better results you're going to get from the tracking. And then there's just some other settings here. Once it's all set up, there we've got things like reduce tracking interference. So when these are turned on, basically sometimes when you get the tracking, so if you move the mouth, sometimes the eyebrows might move, or if you move the head, it might affect the eye movement and things like that. And if you turn them on, it helps reduce that tracking interference. Limit tracking angle. This is um, if you're moving the he your head around too much so like if i turn my head to the side it'll limit how far it'll try and follow my my face you've also got static cam and head cam we're using a static camera we haven't got like a head mounted camera so the first thing we're going to do now is calibrate the face so we can scrub through the video until we get our different expressions so we've got neutral face so no expressions at all i want to set that expression then we've got eyebrows up so i'm going to set the expression there eyebrows drop and then eyebrows in a raise, which is really tricky to do. <laughs> so some people can do it. I struggle um, doing that. So kind of got it. So now this is good to go on this end. Uh, we're going to go into our plugins and go to Motion Live. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure all our settings are correct. And then we're going to preview and just see how the tracking looks and how it works. What we want to do on here is we want to make sure we've got the whole face. So there's nothing being masked out. Turn on denoise. So we can play around with these settings later on, but it's generally good to have that one on. Don't think we need any smoothing on at the moment. And then we'll have a look at the strength once we get into preview. Um, when we do record, set record, um, we will be having, we will select audio for Vism track. So source will be the, the video from AccuFace. And optimization, we want to use AccuLips. You can load um, a matching script file. What you can do is you save, I think you just save a text file into the same di uh, directory as, I don't know if it's whether the, either the video or the project file, but I find it's easier just to copy and paste it in afterwards if you've got that script. Okay, we're gonna press preview and see how this looks. This is my one and only true love. So, straight away, one thing I've, um, I have noticed is um, I sometimes have to turn down the cheeks. So, um, I think it's because of my beard, it picks up cheek movement. So I tend to have to turn that down quite a bit and then we can turn up the, uh, the denoise on that one as well. I'm just gonna go through, play it, and then play around with these settings and you can see what I'm doing, just things like the eyebrows, I'll probably turn up. I'll play around with how much the mouth's moving, the jaw up and down, probably increase the head rotate and things like that. Just until it looks about right, and then we'll um, then we'll see how it goes. So you can see the cheek puffing out. Don't really want this one. This one, my one and only true love, Princess Peach. Peach, you're so cool. So, tweak through some of them. I think that'll give a good enough result. It might be worth as well if we, let's turn on this and we'll drop it down to medium mode. Let's see if we get a bit better frame rate from that. 
this was my one and only true love, Princess Peach. One thing to remember as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, record the lip sync. And when the lip sync is recorded, it will actually make, it'll improve the uh, the facial cap. Well, it kind of mixes with the facial capture to improve the overall performance. So the Aculips works really well at giving kind of precise lip sync based on like the mouth shapes of where it should be. Whereas the facial expressions really like move the face around um, in the right way. So when you mix the two together, that's when you get the best results. So this is going to do that. It's going to record the Aculips and then we're going to play around with the settings until we get the nice, the right blend of the two. And then we can do some tweaks as well to um, improve all that. So I'm going to set everything back to the beginning and we're going to press record. What's going to happen now, this is going to convert the speech to text. So it's going to do its best job to match that up, though it's not going to do what we need, I don't think. So I do have a text, a, a text document already set up with all the lyrics. So I'm going to just copy them and then in a moment, I'm going to paste them into the Aculips setup. So we will see here now that we have a Vizim or Vizim track and our expression track. But you can see lots of red. So if we double click on this, you can see it hasn't really picked up the audio, which I don't blame it because it's a bit shouting all over the place. But what I'm going to do is paste in my script. And we're going to hit line. There might be some um, positioning that we need to do. Okay, so we're going to play this through now. This one. This one, my one and only true love. Now that's all lined up. I'll apply that. Play through. This one. This one, my one and only true love. Actually, if we drop it down to quick mode as well, might get even better frame rate. Princess. So it's doing a good job. It's always good to look at the different tracks. So if you look at uh, the Vizim track only. So then if you look at the expression track. So you can see it's very different, but it will complement each other. So what I'm going to do first is work on the Vizim track or Vizim track. We need to find that out. So we're going to go lip options, double click on that. I'm not going to work on the parts, I'm just going to go full. But I'm going to put that up to too smooth and clipping strength 1.3. And when it, you can see the clipping strength will um, like widen the jaw, affect how much like, the mouth movement works, where the smooth will blend things in together. So generally around that is what I normally do to, to improve. So you can see that's already slightly better. What we can also do as well is on the Vizim track, if we right click and go talking style editor, it's set up for Aculips, Acuface. We can play around with these to see if any of these will give a better job, but like you can see like straight away the difference there. Though we want to blend this into the facial capture, so we don't really want this to be too high. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stick with these settings and then we can combine the two. Let's put this one back up to 100. So let's see how that one looks at that point. So what this will do, it will complement the, the bits that it's missing out with the, uh, the vision strength. So if we put this one up to say, 40, this one down to about 70. Oh, let's play that through. There's a lot of settings and there's a lot you can play around with. So it's things like, I think for this one, the P's need to be pushed up a little bit more, uh, maybe the woo. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. We don't want the full 
Visions to take over just a little bit. Now let's take a look at. So we're going to start the video from here. And I think we want to have him looking at the camera. Turn the body off and just have it a little bit. This one is from my one and only true love. Okay, let's have a look at how this is looking with the full rendering. This one. Is from my one and only true love, Peach. So, really, we want to go into some bits as well, like... So, that, that very end bit. This is where, you, if you really wanted to go in and um, make some improvements, we could add on to the expression layer, where he makes that V shape. We want to come up, bookend the keys and that V shape here. We would use face key to close his mouth up a little bit. Just little subtle things. And then you can come in. One thing I do really like doing to kind of enhance the facial, facial expressions is moving the mouth around a little bit more. So again, you can put in a key. And then and it's just all flourishes like that that add to the animation. But you can go nuts with it. It's it's once you've got the AccuFace recording, it's a really great base to start building up from. Uh, and it doesn't re that doesn't leave you a lot to do, you know, much that you need to do. But, you know, you can pick out those points where it's, like, really expressive. And, you know, you can play with the expressions some more and things like that. But I'm not going to go into that now. I'll show you what you can get from just uh, doing the basics. And then we need to give him automate uh, auto blinks. So I'm going to render this one out now. This one is from my one and only true love. Princess Peach. Peach, you're so cool. And with my star, we're gonna rule. Peach, understand. I'm gonna love you till the very end. Peaches, 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 peaches. So I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try and get back to you with an answer. Princess Peach, at the end of the line, I'll make you mine. Oh. Peaches, 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 peaches,